Welcome back to another behind the scenes segment working from home edition. I'm Mayan Yachman, the editor for Heart of Mercy, and welcome to my home. In this episode, I'm taking a slight departure from my usual tech heavy explanation of our creative process and try to give you my heartfelt reflections on what the making of this film means for me and how that passion showed up in this wonderful little film. Firstly, if you've been following our behind the scenes segments, you'll notice an evolution in the production quality of this film. We've gained a lot of knowledge and expertise over the course of this film's making. And what started out as a simple adaptation of a stage play has become something much more grand and admittedly ambitious. However, we're all serving a much higher purpose and I feel in my heart of hearts that we're being asked to give this film and you, our audience, the very best that we can afford. Now, that requires technology and the skills to create an artwork that not only tells a good story, but draws us into another world. Again, if you've watched any of my other behind the scenes segments, you may detect how passionate I am about this stuff. And I did promise that I wasn't gonna to get too technical in this segment, but if I can just give you a small sampling of the fulfilling work I get to do every day, perhaps I can show you why I and the rest of our production team go through such great pains to produce quality work. So behind me here is a nearly completed rendering of a scene where our St. Faustina is singing a song in the film. We wanted to establish her environment, namely a cloister where she resided. Now, this isn't a documentary, so we're not recreating an historically accurate place in her life, but it does have some of the same design elements from that period. The point is to take what was essentially the actress Maria seen here shot on green screen in our studio and place her character into a larger world. This model required weeks to design, build, and composite together because again, not being too technical here, they simply required several passes to merge together. As you can see, we have to make sure everything lines up and is laid out in a way that the director drafted in his original plans. This is literally world building and although it only takes purchasing a drone to get good aerial shots these days, we would have had to find a location that fit our film's design and reshoot Maria on that location. Those options were just beyond our reach. So to give the audience an immersive experience, we opted to use the power of computing to help us bring Leonardo's vision to life. I cannot convey enough how exciting it is to work every day and produce art like this. I was an artist from my earliest days and have spent my life working in creative fields. So I am humbly grateful for the opportunity, thanks to your generosity and support, to bring my years of experience to this production. All I ask is for God to give us the vision, perseverance, and strength to continue his good work. And may he bless you for your continued help and prayers. Thank you.